Welcome to RimWorld and welcome to the channel, I am Twisted Logic. I loaded about 50 or 60 mods to make RimWorld more like Kenshi. Not 100%, but it's pretty close. And I'm going to be playing as a Vagabond Hive. Disaster has struck your old hive. Many of your numbers died to protect the queen, but despite their best efforts, she was lost. Several of you managed to escape alongside a newer, younger queen, who none of you quite recognize. But unfortunately, you're low on options. You need leadership, and this queen is all you have to establish a new home. So with the scenario here, we can choose the Hive Queen, but the drones are completely randomized. The soldier drones, we're going to get random. We start with some wood and pemmican as well. Next. Okay, for the storyteller, I'm going to pick Phob Chillax on Blood and Dust. I haven't played in a while, so I don't want it to be too hard. But the colony will eventually die. <laughs> uh, seed is going to be just logic. And even if you put the same seed as me, the um, and set up the game exactly the same way, the factions are not going to be in the same location as what I found. I mean, testing at least. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the way. I just took out all the, the vanilla factions here. So we have a neutral check. We have Savage Hivers. I believe that's Southern Hive. We have the Fogmen. And then a couple other groups down here, also Black Desert Skeletons. 30% should be fine. Generate. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Uh, I want to find an area that's like this dark purple right here, Poison Forest. Oh, this area looks pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, so I think one of the, one of the areas right here. So, Black Desert Skeletons are neutral. We got Fogman over here. Hostile Sheck. And Southern Hive. Hostile. And way down here, green the green icon, Western Hive, they're neutral. So, it should be pretty fun. I'm going to pick this Poison Forest spot, one of these spots here. I'm not sure which one yet. Poison forest is a thick poisonous forest. The stale air carries millions of fibrous spores. The terrain is soggy with scum and muck. And there's a decent amount of plant coverage, poison briar. I don't think that, that the hivers are affected by that. The growth period is year round. It's pretty much permanent summer. Advanced, I'm gonna go to a large cell. And we'll start in maybe winter. I don't think that makes too much of a difference. And next. And now with the only character that I can select that's going to be the queen. I just got to make sure that it's a female here because the drone isn't going to do. We're not going to get the eggs. And I'm just really looking for anybody with a passion in social and intellectual. So I'm going to do a separate video about how to all the setup and everything like that. Here we go. Fast learner, nimble. Social burning passion, intellectual burning passion, mining and construction, incapable of nothing. It looks great. Start. It's going to be just a pretty chill game. I got all these different mods. Kenshi Apparel Pack, Kenshi Sheck Race, Hiver Race, Kenshi Armory, uh, Rim Skeletons, Frost and Fire Creatures, Combat Training, Damage Indicators, Prosthetics Table, Interaction Bubbles, Camera Plus. Patch for the Rim Hivers Queen Scenario Patch. Combat Extended, Rim Hivers. Close Quarters Combat Brutality, No Vanilla Apparel. Crossbows, Smoke Leaf Light, Kenchi Cuisine. Humanoid Alien Races, I believe that one just supports the others. Advanced biomes. A group of homeless hivers. They will attempt to build a new home for themselves or die trying. Okay, we're probably gonna die trying. <laughs> now let's pause the game and 
wildlife tab. Okay, we have crabs, we have beak things, gurus, pack bulls, gorillas, bone dogs, swamp raptors, and goats. Or rams. Uh, I just want to see how close these beak things and sea and spiders as well. Okay, usually the beak things can get pretty aggressive. And I just want to see how far away they are. Oh, okay. Like half the map away. Great. Excellent, excellent. So I want to plan out where I like it, it just I think this looks area this area looks pretty good. So maybe like one hive here, one here, and one over here. Uh, I just want to see the growing areas. So toggle fertility overlay. Oh, it looks like we have a pretty good growing area way down here. There's all rich soil down here. So maybe the first first hive will be here. I don't like being too close to the edge of the map. There's some some growing area here, which is great. Okay. Okay, let me rename all these characters and I'll cut ahead with movie magic. Okay, we got Queen Nico. Fast learner nimble. Probably gonna have her researching the entire time. Uh, we got Fish, which is one of the soldier drones. Passion for melee, incapable of skilled labor, firefighting. Uh, also a pyromaniac, which, okay. Uh, tortured artist as well. We got Bin, uh, super immune and a xenophobe. Incapable of skilled labor and intellectual. Also a soldier drone. Claw soldier drone. Creepy breathing. <laughs> Slowpoke. Um, incapable of skilled labor. I think that all of the soldier drones have a passion in melee here. We got Leif. Uh, Leaf. Who looks like is a decent soul. Uh, decent social here. Uh, but he's a misogynist and he's also sanguine. Sanguine. Permanent mood effect plus 12, which is great. Uh, Thumper. Thumper's got a bloodlust. Rimfist's chosen. After watching its civilization fall, Thumper gave up its former life, now wanders the Rimworld wastelands. Rumors of its melee ability have spread even to your colony, but Thumper insists they are exaggerations. He's got a melee of 15 right there. So, and he's tough. So, uh, Thumper here is probably our best soldier drone. Hopefully he's, uh, survives. <laughs> we got Jakku here, which also has a bloodlust, asexual, and misogynist. Uh, but he does have a passion in shooting and melee. Okay, it's going to be a little bit before we get crossbows. And then we have the worker drones now. Double. We got Fade. We got Fujin. Uh, Fujin's a pretty good doctor, it looks like. He used to be a drone doctor. We got Skinner, a uh, careful shooter, asexual, nimble, tortured artist. We got Beep. <laughs> oh, Beep's a night owl. Okay. Beep's decent melee, good cooking, decent medical, or passion for it at least. We got hot longs. It looks like they all have a bloodlust. Okay. We got Barth, and then we also have Otto. Oh, Otto doesn't have bloodlust. Misogynist greedy. Okay, great. And now I'm playing, I don't have any of the DLC. This is, so this is just baseline RimWorld with all the mods. And we're in the poison forest here. Um, it's permanent summer. Permanent summer here. And there was that growing area down here. So I think that uh, oh, all the pemmican is
all the pemmican is allowed. So all the wood is now allowed and maybe we'll start a structure. All right, I'm gonna do some growing zone down there in a minute. Uh, right now we'll do a stockpile zone. Right about there, another one outside. The outside stockpile zone, clear everything and only accept wood and steel. This one right here, clear everything and this will be food. Weapons apparel building. And then I'm just gonna need one more stockpile dumping zone. Right about there. So we're gonna be. We don't have any. Uh, as far as research goes, we have very, very little complete here. We can make pemmican, which maybe we'll do some as a backup. Um, but I want to get smithing here to unlock some of the Kenshi weapons and then long blades is going to be the rest of the Kenshi weapons. So we're going for smithing and then long blades. And then from there, I'll have to just think about what to do next after smithing. But we don't have any electricity. So any kind of um, food is going to rot away pretty quickly. We're going to, we're going to be basically making hopefully more food and it rots away than, than less food and starving. Uh, but we're going to need to hunt and things are going to try to hunt us. And excellent, we're building the hive. Double speed right now. Building away. Let's go to the work tab here. Firefight and patient and doctor. Bed rest will put it two. Okay, just set up all that. And then um, hunting, I think everybody's gonna be on four for hunting. Anybody with a passion for construction, I'm just gonna turn up a little bit and without a passion, I'm just gonna send to four. Growing here. I only have one guy that's good growing, only Barth. Okay, growing, Barth is gonna be top priority as well as Fujin is okay at it. Fujin's at three skill and Barth is at seven. They don't have a passion for mining that's going to be disabled. I don't think mining in the beginning here it's not going to be too important. Plant cut we're going to have to do regardless of they're good at it or not. Uh, just because there's so many trees here. And then the soldiers down here they're incapable of all this stuff. These are the workers and then Nico is right here as the queen. So all of the soldiers down here, Fishbane, Claw, Leaf, Thumper, and Jakku, I'm gonna need them high priority holding. And reverse engineer is one of the mods, but I don't think we're gonna be doing any reverse engineering. I think that's part of the blueprint. That's part of the blueprint mod. And excellent. You know what? We gotta make a we gotta make a crafting spot. Right there. And then make a club. And I'll add like six of them. Now who's the best crafter? Fujin. Fujin's the best crafter and the best grower, so he's going to be priority one crafting. So hopefully Fujin is just going to start. Where is he? Oh great, he's going to the... Going to the um, 
spot right now. Chopped wood, all this wood. All this wood needs to be chopped down. Okay. And we're gonna be putting in wooden floors too. Some, some growing zones. Oh, I'll just add a couple zones right here. 7 by 13 seems pretty good. About that. And then maybe a big one down here. Smaller one off to the side. Doesn't have to be too specific, but this one right here I'm going to set to... I'm going to set this to medical... So that one's heal root, even though the skill isn't there yet. This one right here will do rice. This one more right here will do green fruit. So we can make Gohan. This one will be cactus. And then this one down here is going to be wheat straw. And I need to unlock the stone cutting in order to build the Kenji bread oven. But once I unlock that, we can make some dust switch sandwiches or food cubes, meat wraps. <laughs> Gonna get a butcher table. We need a butcher table like pretty much right away the first way that the hive is gonna feed after this pemmican runs out is hunting. And a bunch of bone dogs over here. We can also get some of these wild mushrooms. We can get this goat definitely, but the goat is a little, a little uh, powerful. It's got like decent defenses, so we can't do it without weapons. The bone dogs we could probably take out without weapons, but not sure about the goat. Fish start equipping these wooden wooden club. Bean can get a wooden club as well. Nice. Alright, work priority has to go up for plant cut. On at least that guy and this guy. Oh, those are both. Okay, so they both have growing skill and plant cut. Okay. Okay, hot longs fade and beep. We're gonna have to cut some trees. Priority one. So the the trees here are blocking the roof. We'll go to a faster speed. Medical tab, and I'm just gonna select everybody so that way they can self-care and the schedule here beep is a uh, night owl I believe yeah beeps a night owl so I'm gonna adjust his schedule And then it took two hours. Took two hours off everybody's schedule as well. So excellent. The schedule is kind of okay. I just have them. At a certain time you go to sleep, and then anything when they're awake. So if they wander around, that's fine too. Fish is uh, hanging out, <laughs> joking about uh, recreation. Nice. We need some recreation hoop. One of these hoopstone rings. And I'm going to need sleeping spots. Put a party spot like right there. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the sleeping spots.
Excellent. Butcher is complete. We'll add a build to make uh, straw flour and do that forever. And then another build to butcher creature. Move that up so it's on top. Do forever. Details. Human corpses, but not, not colonists, though. So any human corpse that dies that isn't a colonist, we can butcher them. Now, do I have enough sleeping spots? I think I need to make, like, a couple more. That should be it. Hot lungs. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Starvation's happening. Oh, Nico's still sleeping. Okay, she can wake up. Skin spider's up. At least that one. 0600. See anybody else getting up? Otto's feeding Nico, which is great. Let's build a stool right there, and then we need the research bench. Simple research bench somewhere here. Wherever it fits. Right there is perfect. still removing the plants and stuff from inside here and then some of these tiles uh, this one's marshy soil yeah marsh and marshy soil I can't build the wooden floor over top of those it won't let me because of uh, the tile type so in orders you no know, structure and then bridge I can build a bridge over top of those so it's gonna be a mixture of bridges and floor tiles some more wood to be chopped down. Oh, excellent. Barth is starting to... is starting the fields. Let's turn growing up to priority two, so the rest of them can start the fields, because as they clear the area for the field will get more lumber as well. So maybe plant cuts not as, in, not as important there in those ones. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Beep's cutting the grass. <laughs> Did we make any more weapons? Who is the crafter? Oh, Fujin? Oh, Double's got a decent crafting as well. Skinner as well. Oh, Fujin's gonna be our weaponsmith. Oh, it looks like they planted some of the wheat straw down here as well. Nice. We are starting to get a little bit low on food, though. We need uh, steel for this research bench. Let's take a look at the map a little bit. Regular slate wool there. Oh, we got an urn here. Uninstall that. Steel sarcophagus, slate wool. X 
Excellent. We got at least one urn. This is all steel right here. Nice. Mine some of that. It's not too far away. Oh, there's closer steel right here. Just gonna take a look for any kind of special metals like uranium or plate steel. That looks like there's an opening. It's like a cave or something right there. Let's mine that. I just looked around quickly. I didn't see any kind of uranium or any jade or any gold or anything like that. It didn't look too hard though. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. I think there'll be a list of all the mods in the comments where you can you can click the link and it'll take you to like a collection of all the mods that you can install. There's not really a particular order for them, but at least it doesn't seem like there is. Some of them, like Harmony or the cores you want to have on top of the list. Whatever's on the top of the list is going to be a higher priority than the other ones. So if two mods are canceling each other out, or if one mod cancels another one out, the one that's on top is going to win. There's no guns in this. So it's all melee and crossbows. I had one mod during the testing that I just removed called I think it was called Arrows Please, but I removed it. Um, I added it because it added the crossbow turrets that you could build. However, it was also adding a throwing torch and like flaming arrows and stuff that weren't, weren't really Kenshi-esque. So I was like, because everybody started showing up with the flaming arrows and the throwing torches when they whenever they attacked us. Uh, so I took that one out just, just now. Just before playing. Excellent. The first the first hive is coming along pretty good. Low on food, so we're gonna draft everybody right here. Okay, we got two. We got two weapons. Okay, bin and fish. Bin and fish attack the goat. Chikukin. Chikukin, get back to work. And then Thumper can also attack. Okay, Leaf and Claw. There we go. I couldn't even see him, too. <laughs> Melee tech to go. I haven't played Rim World in a very long time, so. Uh, same, maybe some things I forget or. Oh, okay. Thumper's making fun of Claw's leg. Leg hair. Or sun's like hair while they're fighting. <laughs> I'll go into the options of the word bubbles and disable that during. Let's see, how, how damage is Claw getting? Not too bad. Oh good, the, the goat's taking most of the damage, but we, we see we need weapons here. The punching isn't doing it. We're getting critical hits of one damage. These ghosts are really tough. <laughs> Twenty-two hits in the into the uh, body with the club. All them back to work, and Bin can. Melee attack ram to death. 
and then where's my crafting spot here? Need we need like 15 clubs. Okay, double. Double's not very good at growing. Okay, it mine. Double's the one. Set up some medical spots. What I need is a, a larger, larger hive. At least those three will be medical. to death. Well, at least as we started uh, destroying his ear. His ear's bleeding. Still no immediate danger. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fight peak things soon. <laughs> I can barely take out this this goat. And those two are joking around while they're doing it too. Oh great. So Leaf. Leaf can get a club. Jakku. You can get a club. Oh nice, about time. Something else is under attack I hear. Oh here we go. Bone dog and a skin spider. Uh, they, looks like they both are gonna die. Skin spider's gonna die in like six hours. Bone dog's down already. Death in five hours. Kind of close to the first hive as well. Let's see how they're doing with the the growing zones here. Excellent. Looks like a lot of the rice is planted. A lot of the wheat straw is planted. Some of the cactus here, they're, they're starting on the green fruit right now. Nice. I either have to make this bigger or another one. So maybe let's start making a hive here. I'm just going to pause it and lay it out. Okay, so we got a little bit of an expansion on this one, and then we have a new area here as well. I was thinking that this will be uh, more of a barracks. More of a barracks hive, and this one will be more production over here. Or maybe we'll switch it, I'm not sure. This one is going to be a little closer to the all the plants, so maybe we'll do the. This will be like more like a food and recreation. Yeah, so like a big table. Big 
table right about there. And then I'll cut off, you know, I'll cut off this a little bit more like that. And then make this area like for food. Even though we're not going to have any refrigeration, but I still kind of want like a food stockpile. Nice, looks good. We'll get to that eventually. How's this coming? Steel. Where's the, where's the steel? I don't think anybody mined. Nobody went mining yet. Okay. Okay, Hotlong's got to mine priority one. Um, Nico can mine, but if the queen dies, then the whole colony is pretty much doomed. Skinner can mine as well. So Nico, if I go to right here, the, the general bio egg progression is 10%. And when that gets to 100%, she's going to lay an egg somewhere. And over time, it's going to hatch into either a soldier drone or a worker drone. And possibly a prince or a second queen. But most of the, I believe that the chances for that are pretty low, but... Most of the time, it's going to be a worker or a soldier. Beep, you gotta... Let's see. Let's prioritize butcher table. And at the crafting spot here, I'm going to add some more bills. Make a turban. Maybe a couple of those. We need geese. I'll move the turban down. We need like a couple of geese and martial arts bindings. A couple of those because the characters need clothes. They're not happy about it right now at all. Okay, so I just added a couple bills to the crafting spot. Make herbal medicine until you have 50. Smoke leaf joints until you have 10. Make a knife, club, a gi, martial arts binding. Talgamust, Turban, Sandagasa, and Tribal Backpacks. And they'll get to those eventually. I think we need to get like all the... Yeah, that goat only gave us uh, 21 leather, so... I'm just going to queue those up and, and at some point they'll... We'll get some more stuff here. And Tower 2, I'll go to, I'll go to double speed here. Just Beep and Bin are the only ones up right now. Oh, right here. The bone dog and the skin spider both killed each other. Just unforbid them. So hopefully somebody goes over there and get, grabs that. Who's been doing it? Nice. He's got the bone dog. Claws are going to get the skin spider. And we're not going to set up any defenses at all. It's just going to be when you attack the hive, then you get the swarm. <laughs> Excellent leaf is starting the extension.
a bowl. What are you making here? Wooden club, okay. Oh, a couple more wooden clubs came in. I want Nico, I want Nico to be able to defend herself. And then Claw gets a club as well. They'll all eventually have weapons. And Thumper's bringing the first amount of, uh, oh great. Thumper, Hot, Long, and Skinner. They're getting the steel over so we can start this research. Oh, he's already, he's already bringing it over. Nice. Getting low on food. Who's our best cook? Fujin, priority one. Beep is also a cook. Excellent. Okay, beep, beak thing is hunting Skinner. Beak thing. Let's see. Let's see how far he is. Oh, right over here, okay. So all the soldier drones, right there. Thumper's the only one without a weapon. Side fish flanked him. Nice. Let's see. Big thing's health. Oh, he, he got a bitten from a goat before he was fighting a goat before he fought, fought us. So a little damaged already. Uh, left leg here on. Skinner already bleeding. Oh, Skinner's down. Double. Rescue Skinner. Yes. Claw. Melee attack beak thing to death. Leave you too. Fish. Kill it. Bin is going to rescue Skinner. Is it dead? Melee, I, thought, I just told him that. Melee attack. Excellent, yes. <laughs> yes. Inspired creativity on Skinner. Next item, art or furniture it creates will be two quality levels higher than it would otherwise be. Doctor over here, Fujin. Jakku's not doing too great either.
defend 12 hours. He'll be, I think he'll be okay. Fujin's a pretty nice medic. Nice. Too bad we don't have Dr. Chung. <laughs> we'll get Dr. Chung one day. Maybe if we survive that long. I'm not, you know, I haven't played Kenshi in years before, before this. And I've been playing for a few weeks, testing out different mods and getting everything pretty cool. And um, now I'm playing now, but I also do a pretty um, extensive Kenshi game. If you, if this is the first video from me that you're watching, check out the other videos. I do Dwarf Fortress as well. Dwarf Fortress, one of my favorite games, as well as Kenshi. Rimworld's now added to the list. And this game called Castle Story that I play as well. There's many other games. I don't record everything I play. I, I play video games when I can. I still have a still have a full time job, so I play when I can. But I try to do one video a week, minimum. Recently, that hasn't really been working out that great. I had to. I have to, of course, do my responsibilities before I play games. Fixing my truck and taking care of all different things. So let's build a kitchen fuel stove. Where can I get it? Oh, nice. The extension is complete over there. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this sleeping spot there for the fuel stove right here. For now, I can move that later. Research, is this going on? Smithing. Work. Best researcher, who is it? Of course it's Nico. Already won. And then Fujin is also, I'm gonna put... Fujin will be a priority two researcher and he'll build a second research bench here. Somewhere. I'm going to clean up all these um, random sleeping spots once, once this one is complete. And I can't build like where I built the bridges. This right here is a, a bridge tile. You can tell because it's like a slightly lighter tile. But I can't build that... Uh, workshops on top of that. Oh, is this party spot messing me up? Deconstruct. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I'll put a party spot down. Just throw in there. Just, yeah, okay. It's been jacking me up the whole time. Nice, we got research going getting that smith getting that smithy didn't mean to do that close it excellent we're gonna a second researcher pretty soon and we have a visitor who's this a warrior from the black desert skeletons is visiting the colony he is named Dala Let's see oh Dala looks like he's got a trading enabled here let's see he's got improvised gas mask he's got two different uh, three different blueprints here which may be pretty helpful if we can get him cloth backpack steel staff and a sandagasa excellent his name is t2 T2 is here. <laughs> oh, way up there. Okay, he's coming down. We got, uh, finally got Thumper's wooden club there. 
the fueled stove here. I'm going to add a bill for uh, Gohan. And in order to make this, see the details of it, we can we can see here. Uh, it's part of the Kenshi Cuisine Pack, but this is going to be 40 rice and 32 green fruit uh, to make four of them. Um, so we're going to maybe do until you have 12. Also going to do a simple meal. Do until we have maybe eight. Bread and green fruit. We need to make, we need to get the bread before we can make the food cubes. And then uh, dust witches as well is going to need bread. Uh, most of that's going to need bread. But pemmican as well. So if those are complete or can't be done, then we'll do pemmican. Pretty much forever we'll do pemmican just because it's the only thing that's going to last. When you make the Gohan, it doesn't doesn't last that. It lo lasts as long as one of the regular meals, the Gohan. So um, there's only so much we can do with these mods to make to make Rimworld like Kenshi. <laughs> But if this inspires the mod creators to look, take a second look at those mods, that'd be great. That'd be great if we can add some more stuff. Because even the wildlife mod is is missing, like land bats. Okay, we got a gorilla down here. Gonna just draft the drones, soldier drones down here. Soldiers report. <laughs> Does Bin have a backpack? Oh, nice. He's got the, the tribal backpack already. Okay, so soldier drones. Melee attack. Gorillo. <laughs> Fujin was just like booking it. See the health here. Okay, gorillas. Not really taking that much damage. Claw's got injuries from the goat. Okay, leaf is uh, dead in eight hours from gorilla scratches. As well as Jakku here is. Uh, Scratch pretty badly on his le neck and leg. Three hours death, okay. So, um... Jakku, I'm just gonna have him come up here. Just... Soldier off, rest until healed. Hopefully we don't have to... Hopefully he makes it. Oh, nice. Excellent. Thumper is going to... Um, oh, is it dead already? Oh, it is dead. Excellent. We didn't have to melee attack until... Nice. I thought we, I thought we were going to have to just like beat it until it, until it was dead. Well, we killed it. One go. Here's T2. Nico is going to go trade with T2 here. Excellent. T2, what you got? Okay, we have no money. We have a steel knife, apparently. Somebody made a steel knife. Uh, we can get six silver for that. to pemmican. Okay, so it looks like we can't really do anything there. We 
We have zero money and nothing he's really interested in. Oh, that's fine. Let's make sure none of these guys are dying here. Yeah, Jakku. Who's our best medic? Ujina. Draft and right there. Already tending to Jakku. Good. Hopefully he. There he is. There he is. Save him, Fujin. Beeps cutting up that gorilla. Nice. Nice death in eight hours. Excellent. Next, all patched up. Excellent. Anybody else? Oh, Nico's taking care of Leaf. What's going on with Claw? Oh, he's a, he's got an addiction here. Okay. Right, I just want to see Nico's needs. Eat without a table, disturbed sleep times three, slept on the ground. Unslightly environment, naked and awful barrack. Okay. Those will get solved over time. I think Thumper's our best melee. Oh, I'll, I'll wait till he wakes up and then I'll have him, somebody get that knife. Looks like all the, most of the plants have been sewed, which is great. I do want to make another area though, another growing area for medical herb, so maybe like right there. Oh, I heard he did it. <laughs> make another area for smoke leaf as well. I need that hemp. I need like a long one right about there. And that'll be smoke leaf plant. We can make fabric out of that. As well as joints. Inspiration. I'm gonna have Skinner Skinner prioritize working on that table over there. He's got that inspiration for a few more days. So this table is gonna be coming out a lot better than it should. We only got 40 progress on the smithing. Maybe we should switch over to, I'm going to switch over to complex research. We only got 40 into smithing. We're going to get that one pretty early, so I think it'll be okay. I'll just double speed. Trees. He's well rested. It was thirty one percent. Oh, nice. He's building the table. He's inspired. slower than everybody else though. I'm moving is 20%. As long as that big table is reserved for the 
inspiration. I'm happy with it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We're reworking on table, okay. Build our third hive maybe over here maybe or the third one up here oh nice he's doing it Skinner's building the table I need to put the bridges in here as well. Nice to spill the floor, excellent. Just gonna say a word about facial hair to Ben. It's no longer inspired, okay. It's an excellent table. Excellent. <laughs> nice, we got smoke leaf as well coming in. So we can make cloth with that. We can also make the joints. Let's see, wildlife. going on with this guy he's got um, gonna have Thumper come over here and finish him off looks like he got in a fight with a bone dog death in five hours moving zero manipulation zero so Thumper's gonna go up there What thumper's gonna grab this knife first? Now I can do some damage. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Some visitors from the Western Hive. Hey, Skinner's here. Uh, looks like they're not trading, though. It's Skinner, Fumin, and Orsum. The Western Hive. Oh, you know what? If I go to Nico and hit this uh, information here. Um, I should have probably said this in the beginning, but um, the Hivers have a uh, maximum comfortable temperature of 37C and a minimum comfortable te temperature of 18C. So somewhere between that, uh, vegetables, raw meat, corpses, seeds, animal products, meals, processed food, liquor, kibble. So that's their, that's their comfortable temperature. If I go to this temperature mod here, it's 31C inside, 30, 30C here, 28C over here. This isn't a room yet. 26C outside right now. When I was originally testing this out, I was playing in a, I think a temperate swamp. And we had to, I was using the geothermal vents, the um, steam geysers. I'm not sure if there's any on this map right now. Um, but we had built the hive around the steam geyser and then closed off the roof 
and then we were using that to heat the hive. It was, it was kind of cool in the testing. But then when I when I found the poison forest here, I was like, oh, this is more like vain, you know. But the only downside is permanent summer here. But I mean, like Kenshi's Kenshi's environment doesn't change that much. There's not really too many seasons. There's like a wet and dry season, or like a season that's more likely to have acid rain or regular rain or something like that in, in the game Kenshi. So hopefully there'll be more seasons and stuff in Kenshi too when that comes out. And now that I'm getting back into RimWorld, I might I might get the ideology or the royalty DLCs. I'm not not really sure yet. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. Um, but I haven't really read too much about it. But I just usually what happens is I play Dwarf Fortress for so long, and then if I start getting bored with Dwarf Fortress, I'll switch to another game. And this time it happens to be RimWorld and Kenshi. <laughs> okay, let's see here. We need... We need to mine more iron steel. I need like a surplus of... Oh, I have a decent amount already. Okay, great. Uh, Nico is researching. Who's the other researcher? Okay, all these. Skill three, skill three. Okay, so Fujin, if he's not cooking, we're doing all that stuff, not growing, not crafting. Oh, Fujin's a crafter, okay. We got a major break wrist here for claw. Somebody's insulting. Okay, end withdrawal. God, I'm tired. Everything is slow and boring, especially me. <laughs> so Claw's going through some drug withdrawals. without a table again there. We have table now. So let's build uh, stools around it. I'm just going to reinstall the kitchen over here and then I'll also reinstall the butcher over here. And we'll put the we'll reinstall the kitchen like over on this side instead. And then the stools as well. Reinstall right there. So I gotta start getting these hivers to be at least a little bit happy. bridges where the floors can't be and I can only build the floors where the bridges can't be so it works out since it looks like you'll be here for a while Barth thinks that you should give your faction a name what should your faction be called Narcos Fiend's Hive <laughs> Barth also thinks that you should give your settlement a name, and we're gonna call that Toxorama. <laughs> okay. Your faction is now known as Narcos Fiends Hive. The community is known as Toxorama. 
right? It's kind of randomized it there. Oh, we got one piece of bone dog leather there. Gorilla leather here. Oh, insect meat. I think the insect meat is from the beak things. I need to expand this zone a little bit and then I'm just gonna remove the chunks from it. Or not allow the chunks. I'm not gonna move them, but they're fine there. Excellent. So this is gonna be our party spot. <laughs> I'll add some torch lamps in here as well. And then this this area over here is going to be food storage. Uh, not the door. Uh, we moved the we moved the butcher table and the stove so it's same bills and then We can make an art bench. Let's add in some wooden flooring over in this area. Okay, and then bridges. And maybe this wall we can remove and. Do that and then remove this wall, deconstruct. Deconstruct the doors as well. Build a copy. Slightly better barracks room right here. Okay, some of the meat's starting to rot away in storage. We have no food. Claws in dazed state. To get all the soldier drones right here, draft them. Claw's not going to be joining us. Maybe Beep can join us as well. Beep doesn't have a weapon. Beep's getting this club right here. Anybody else have a weapon? None of the workers have weapons except Beep. Okay. Gotta go to the wildlife tab here. See see what we can take out. We got two gurus. Gurus are up here. Okay. Let's get our soldiers up here. Oh, we got a couple bone dogs up here as well. Let's try to try to take out these creatures right here. Skin sight, skin spider, but it's rotted away. to death and these characters here the soldier drones can go after the gurus melee attack soldier drone melee attack the guru there 
Beep. I only attacked one dog to death. This one right here, unforbid. I got Guru Revenge here. Okay. So Thumper's gonna jump on the other one as well as Leaf. to work and these are unforbidden. Jakku can haul. Back to work. Leaf. There we go. Just gonna have Thumper come up here. Take a look at injuries here. So Jakku is going to die in seven hours. Skinner, healing, leaf. Okay, Jakku looks like the only one that's really messed up. Beep got no damage. <laughs> Beep is strong. Beep is strong. Nice. Okay, so this zone right here, I'm just going to move it over here a little bit. I'll make a second one. Dumping zone. Yeah, right over here. some of these some of these awkward sleeping spots and then we'll build a better area down here we got an infection somebody's infected Jakku has gotten sick from infection infected on his right leg We have any medical? Oh, this place is a disgusting mess here. Right here, we gotta clean it up. <laughs> okay, who's supposed to be cleaning? So maybe some of the some of the soldier drones here will um, clean up a little bit at a higher priority. Uh, this guy right here, yeah, Claw can he can't use the research bench until cleaning and hauling is complete. Okay, excellent. Set him up on a three. stockpile here should be yep just food over there oh we're gonna make a statue of a colonist make a Click two of those, and the details is get rid of the the most expensive 
legendary steel out of that as well as steel. We'll make it out of wood. So three statues of colonists made out of wood. We need some kind of art in here. Oh nice, we got an excellent Talgamust. Grew leather tal Talgamust. And rice is being harvested. Green fruits grow pretty slow, 28%. Cactus is at 28% as well, and we got a raid from the dead hive. Oh, it looks like we're growing medical, the healing root. Okay. A group of fogmen from the dead hive have arrived nearby. They'll prepare for a while, then attack. Let's see. Jump to location. Uh, it looks like just one fogman. We've got a backpack, some pemmican, no weapon. He didn't bring a weapon. Okay. I think Thumper could probably take him out by himself. With the knife. I'll have Thumper and Leaf go. Wait, Leaf? Oh, he's got a weapon. Okay. Yeah. Thumper and Leaf right here. Take out that fog man. There he is. Get him, Thumper. Oh, he's running. We're chasing him. Can you catch him? <laughs> Why is he attacking and then running away? Yeah, I got him. I'm just gonna go into the options and disable these bubbles. All right, I'll click that right there. Show bubbles. Disabled it. Just not while it's not while they're fighting like that. Let's see the health. Don't cut off his left ear. Fog sickness on the brain. I have no idea what fog sickness is. We're gonna strip him. Take his pemmican. So with these backpacks here, I believe they increase the um, yeah bulk capacity plus plus X for each backpack. So the amount of things that they can carry is going to be increased so with this can with the, some of the kenshi mods i think you need the backpack in order to use some of the heavier weapons i believe that's the case because of the encumbrance i'm not entirely sure nico's egg progression is at 32 percent bit more than halfway finished researching the complex furniture so we should be able to get some beds at least so they don't go crazy and we're getting a decent amount of steel here we really need to get some better weapons okay uh, this this stockpile I'm just gonna expand it a little bit resource stockpile there we're just bringing that fogman down here. But yeah, he's bringing it right to the butcher table. Nice. I'm gonna have some fogman meat. <laughs> I, I thought that, and then when I said it, it was a lot funnier after I said it. Cannibalize that fogman.
Excellent. This bowl is in two days, not refrigerated. So really, I gotta build the second kitchen here. So we can we can get this food. We're gonna increase the production of this food. Uh, second butcher table as well. Like the rice will spoil. Okay, so double click all the rice and then forbid it. And now he'll start making out of the meat, which is gonna spoil in a half a day and a half, bone dog meat. Okay, so he'll make it into a meal and hopefully that'll increase the let's see. Yeah, spoils in four days, rice, bone dog meat. Excellent. Uh, what is this? Berries? Berries are also forbidden. Just until he just until we get some of that. Where are you going? He's feeding leaf. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to be. Oh, somebody had. Okay, mushrooms up there. Cook a simple meal. Pick up the frogman meat. It goes bad, it goes bad. That's fine. Let's see, it's the 8th of December, Barry. <laughs> Decemberary. We got a medical emergency here. Jakku, what's happening? Extreme infection. Clean inside. Oh, nice. We got a Got another butcher table. So we'll add the same bills. Butcher creature and make straw flower. Both of them do forever, and then this one is gonna be human corpses but not colonist. And straw flower, we don't have to mess with the details. How's the wheat straw coming? 30% grown, 32%. Smoke leaf is 26. Some of the race is already done. It's getting there. Okay. Oh, Jakku fell. Arthur's already going to rescue him. All right. Die, Jakku. <laughs> okay, who's our best? It's Fujin, right? Yeah, Fujin. Oh, it doesn't require tending. Okay. Get 
turban bill is complete, which is great. I need these, um, what is he doing here? Making a trouble backpack. I need these geese made. And the martial arts bindings. Details. Yeah, they can use any leather and any wool there. Okay. Oh no. Jakku. Jakku died. Died of an infection. Damn. We'll remember you, Jakku. <laughs> Okay, we need a graves. Maybe just one or two graves behind the hive here. Oh, good fades. Digging the first grave, excellent. Otto's got the other one. It was a good soldier drone. But the hive survive. No, I don't know if the high is going to survive or not. <laughs> I think that this place is going to die in a flaming glory or somebody's, we're just going to die of the plague or something, I bet. But we are getting these, these um, hill roots. They're 140% they're growing. Growth rate's 140% on those, 144% on the green fruit. Excellent. The oh, sun's going down now. I oh, know Beep got food poisoning. You're the cook, Beep. Just rest until healed. Oh no, he's not injured, okay. Initial food poisoning, okay. Psychic drone low. Every colonist feels a wave of anxiety and anger. Okay, not gonna help the situation. But everything is getting cleaned up though. Hive's cleaned. This hive's cleaned as well. Let's let's start building the third one. I need to get the I need to get the queen into uh Decent bedroom pretty soon. Just gonna plan this out a little bit. This one a lot larger. Something like that, and then cancel the interior parts of it. Or at least some of the interior parts of it. I think that we're gonna need something around here for the roof. Oh, maybe a hive within a hive, and a hive inception here. <laughs> That'll be the queen's room, maybe? It's a little too close over on this side, so maybe... Maybe like this. At least two spots over there. And then... A wall right there. That could be like soldiers. Or some sleeping quarters for the rest of them. Yeah, they, yeah that looks great. And then doors right here. Didn't mean to do that third one. Another way to get in right there. Yeah, usually they, I think they usually have three, three entrances, so we'll do it like that. OK, 
Okay, it looks good. Good enough for YouTube, at least. <laughs> right, we'll do some floors in there as well. Excellent, we finished researching complex furniture. Nice. Nice. So I'm going to just finish this floor in here. And then we'll go over to the research screen. Okay. Smithing then. Or stone cutting. We're going to go to swift smithing. We need like, we need some decent weapons here. We need to get long blades, so smithing is next. To research, go. With the blueprints, if you learn, if you get one of the Neolithic blueprints or something like that, and you learn it, it'll it'll just add like a chunk of research to the to the um, completed research here. We get a groove right here. We're gonna take him out. Get him. Yes. Now beeps up. On beep. Oh, is it dead? Oh, great. Hole grew. Sometimes when the animals go down, I think they're still alive. And so I want to have one of the characters melee attack it until it dies because with the um, wooden clubs, they're not they may knock it down and knock it out and then a few hours later it'll get up and be pissed at us. <laughs> what do we got here? Okay, let's see the wildlife. Got some swamp turtles over here. We can take them out. If we wanted to. Four of them. What's all this? It's all like filth over here. Animal filth. This beep is uh, building a hive at night. All the rest of them sleep. You know what? I'll put somebody else on the night schedule as well. So I'll copy. Skinner can go hang out with beep as well as thumper. Yeah, Skinner, Thumper, and Beeper on the night shift. Psychic drone, unsightly environment, intense pain, slept on the ground, colonist died, ate without a table, disturbed sleep time three. Recreational satisfied, which is great. The dining room's impressive, at least a little bit. Initial optimism and low expectations. He's got major food poisoning right now. Rest until healed. Oh, I can't do it. You're the cook. <laughs> They're building the way there. And you know what else I can have them build is uh, some beds at least. Bed roll is cloth, but the bed itself is... Uh, we can make those out of wood. Some 10 smoke leaf joints, and then after the smoke leaf joint is completed, we're going to make in fabric times four and that's going to be do forever but it's going to be at the bottom of the list so that way if they have enough fabric to make one of the hats or something then they'll make some hats or the geese i really need the i really need the geese and the martial arts bindings to be made so that they're wearing clothes at least how's this hemp coming along growth rate is 140 percent and it's about 40 percent grown and Barth is still planting it, so it should. Okay, someone's at 15. 15% over there. Almost 40 over here. Zero over here. It's good that they stagger it like that because I can't handle the whole crop coming in at once. It's good that it's staggered. Fujin's making a knife or something over here. Nice, steel knife. Let's 
clawing fish. Clawing fish will get the knives, and then some of the workers here, Barth, can get the wooden club, and Otto can get another wooden club. So hand me downs. So this will be a this will be a barrack here, and then are these all unowned. Okay. So be pure. New bed. Be these four right here as well. I'll wait till they get up. And then I'll move them down here or something. They'll pick new spots. Maybe I'll expand this one a little bit and since we're getting the, the leather over here. Make a stockpile somewhere over here for leather. And then we'll do the rest of the crafting, cloth crafting in this area as well. Perhaps. I'll have to think about it. I just paused the game and like played with kind of different variations of what I could do in this area as far as uh, building an extension. But I want to let them finish this building before we start expanding on this one. We got a crab walking over here. What's up with this crab? <laughs> Egg progression is 43%. Uh, where's this crab going? Maybe it's looking for food? I'm going to follow it. Doesn't look like he's going after the bulls. Uh, maybe he's just leaving. Excellent. The queen finally has her own room. <laughs> Was that all, uh... I can't build a floor in here? Okay, this is gonna be old bridges. Or maybe I just leave it like that. Let's see the um, toggle beauty display. Okay, it's minus three on that. How about the bridges themselves? Bridges themselves don't give any beauty deduction. Okay, so these chunks gotta go. And then we do need to build bridges over here for the beauty aspects of it, even though I think it looks better like Okay, there we go. I could make growing zones there, but we don't have enough light to for the plants. Maybe if I got like a skylight mod, then I could grow indoors in here, in this biome. Just make like a single grow zone right there. <laughs> But I don't think it's enough light to grow the smoke leaf plants or, or whatever we want to grow inside. Okay, I can finally start spreading out the drones. Don't come in soon. Okay, we're gonna have to hunt a little bit. We get gurus and crabs over here. Let's get all the soldiers there, plus one or two of the worker drones. I 
think the crabs are more likely to attack, but the... Okay, melee attack, that guru. The guru revenge. Just woke up all the animals as well. Okay, melee attack this guru. All those crabs are going after it. Okay, melee attack that crab. sure how powerful these guys are. Oh, not too bad. When we're like swarming them like this at least. <laughs> Mainly attack Guru to death. And then everybody else will get this crib. Get him. Three are just gonna turn and get that one. Oh, okay. These the rest of them will as well. Nice. Excellent. Who's still alive over here? This crab? Bin. I only attack crab to death. Double you two. Oh, double doesn't even have a weapon. Okay. Hold the guru. Excellent. Nice. Get some guru leather as well. Wait, 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 wait. This crab is unconscious. Let's see his health. Death in three hours. Fade doesn't have a weapon. Uh, it's okay. Mainly attack crab to death. Okay, at least he's doing like three damage or so. <laughs> if I zoom out, is it quieter? A little bit. Oh, it's about time. Oh, great! Some of these, some of these. Uh, so before these guys go to sleep, I'm just gonna deconstruct the sleeping spots. Skinner spawn are deconstructed as well as some of these ones. So hopefully some of them will grab beds. And then they're building beds up here as well. Great. Nice. Nico's already in bed. And we got some more knives complete as well. How's the research done? A little less than half. Beep's in a work frenzy. <laughs> Thanks to a high mood, Beep has experienced inspiration. He will, people work faster for the next eight days. Nice. Got crab eggs. Excellent. Butcher up those gurus. Make some new clothes. Oh, we got a bulk goods trader from the Shek Kingdom. Excellent. Caravan from Shek Kingdom is approaching. Yes. I'm 
got a major break wrist on Nico. So he needs eight raw food, ravenously hungry, intense pain, naked, unsightly environment. Slightly impressive dining room. Okay, so this right here, the steel urn, we're going to reinstall it over in the dining room to maybe increase the impressiveness of the dining room a little bit higher. Because I don't seem to be getting a bonus from that room there. See the health of Nico. Major food poisoning, whole body. Okay. Okay, they just installed that urn. Awful bedroom. Expires in 13 hours, okay. Spacious interior. Oh, slightly impressive dining room is back. Okay. Well, for better. I'm gonna have her trade with the chicken. Dinner. Nico can't talk properly because of poor health. Those all affect trade prices. Consider a healthier negotiator. I think that's. I think she's still the best negotiator. Okay, so we're gonna give him all the crab eggs. All the crab meat. The spacer technology blueprints, I reduced the price, the base price of them. So if I get them, they still cost something. Um, even though I think that all the spacer technology is disabled. Medieval technology blueprint. If we can get one or two of those, that's going to really help with our research. Oh, these guys buy wood. We can give them all our wood. Two blueprints. Gorilla leather. Guru leather. All the crab chitons. Oh, these crab chitons are expensive here. That's like... That's a lot of money. <laughs> okay, all their pemmican maybe? Unfertilized blood spider eggs. Take some herbal medicine as well. Yo, all the wood for sale? Nice. I should have killed more crabs. I'm gonna start killing I'm gonna start killing the crabs a lot more, but I think that only the bulk good trader, I think we just got kinda got lucky with the bulk goods trader. Okay, that looks good. 370 silver as well. I'm gonna have to just chop down a lot more wood, but accept. And then you know what? Trade again, and we're gonna give him a gift of uh, five silver. Yes, this blueprint right here, medieval technology, Nico. Right click, um, use medieval technology blueprint. Complex clothing research has been boosted by 20%. Okay, let's read the next one. Carpet making research has been boosted by 20%. Okay. I wasn't really going to make carpets, but... So now let's see. Complex clothing starts off at 180 in carpet making. Oh, nice. Complex clothing we're going to need for the armor, the plate armor here. Claw's got a major break wrist. I need to get the, um, this crafting, what's going on with this crafting? Double. Relaxing socially. Comment about eating to beep. Okay, so double, you're going to need to prioritize the crafting spot. We just make, you know what I'll do is I'll build a copy, uh, put the crafting spot down here, there, and add a bill, just the gi and the martial arts bindings. Let 
Now double can prioritize this one. And also a stockpile for this leather on the inside here. Uh, just add it to this one since it's, we have so much space. Yeah, leathers. We'll just add in leathers there. Oh, well, textiles is fine. Oh, excellent. Double is making the gi. It's Skinner, what are you making? Also a Gru leather gi, excellent. Great, we're making some clothes. We got some knives here just laying around. Ape exchanged thoughts about the relationship between artistic ambition and alien contact with Leaf. <laughs> Excellent, we got some herbal medicine as well. Okay, all these unowned beds now. So maybe like all these. Deconstruct, not that. <laughs> these two right here, deconstruct. Uh, reinstall it over here. This one, reinstall. There. them too close to the doors. Excellent. Let me turn up the speed a little bit. Get some of that work done. What's your uh, work here? Okay, cook first, then grow, plant cut. Construction's at four on Beep, and he's already. Okay. Beep kind of sucks at everything except for cooking and growing. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put Beep at a three on mining. I don't think I have anything scheduled for mining right now, though. Oh, some of these cactuses are starting to... Yes, yeah, 66%. Green fruit as well as 88%. We're gonna get some Gohan soon. I'm gonna move the Gohan to the top of the list. Weed straw is starting to come in as well, 67%. Nice. Maybe I'll make another wheat straw area here. It's gonna take so long to grow. That might as well. This dumping zone only for chunks. I expanded this a little bit bigger and now I gotta find the, make sure the, the um, hill root goes in here. So it should be manufactured and then medicine. Everything manufactured is fine to go in here. Okay. Just they, they were leaving this hill root out and I didn't move it. Same with the um, silver there. I didn't know I didn't have a place for it there. <laughs> okay, great. Thump removed that inside so it's not going to deteriorate. And we're getting rid of those chunks now that we have a place to put them. 
Nico's needs here. Slightly impressive dining room, slightly impressive rec room, spacious interior, initial hope. Still naked, ate raw food, serious pain. Let's see the, let's see. Recovering from the food poisoning, excellent. Excellent. Can't let anything happen to the queen. How's the egg progression? 54%. Right, and they're starting to plant the uh, wheat straw over there as well. It's like the uh, Shek Kingdom's on their way. This guy's got uh, one of those crab helmets. Steel Mercenary Club, Empire Samurai Helmet, Hackstopper Hat, Steel Mace, Steel Ninja Mask, uh, Mercenary Club. Oh, this guy's wearing martial arts binding and the gi. Okay. Cloth backpack. Empire Samurai helmet. Martial arts bindings. Wooden spear. Crab Raider helmet. Tribal backpack. Steel mace. If I can make enough food, I can send him out to attack the Fogmen or maybe this. Hostile Shek base. Now, where did those Sheks come from? I'm not really sure. Oh, they must have came from all the way up here. Okay. Because that's the, that's the closest um, neutral Shek kingdom. What's going on with Skinner? Oh, Claw, what happened? addiction withdrawal and major food poisoning hopefully he doesn't die of food poisoning <laughs> excellent we got at least three hives set up we got we're starting to make Gohan I believe we make build complete on tribal backpack oh, we got some geese made Talgamusts. Excellent. Yeah, we're about to have some Gohan here. We'll make another door. Right there. Oh, nice. And now they're all planting this. Oh, knife. I don't want to leave that outdoors. Anybody not? Okay, double. Quick knife. Okay, anybody else unarmed? Hot lungs can get the knife. Barth. Otto. Okay, Beep's got a weapon. Skinner. Skinner's sleeping. Oh, Beep, Beep got food poisoning again. <laughs> Cause incompetent cook. Who's cooking here? Otto? Otto, uh, what's your skill? Three, but he has a passion for it. Okay, Otto, you're not, no longer a cook. Or I'll increase the priority to... Yeah, you're no longer a cook auto. Sorry, bud. So, Fujin and Beep are the only cooks left. Fujin has five, and Beep also has five. So I think that was the problem. I hope, at least. I think that they have to have either skill of... Um, Five or six before the food poisoning is no longer an issue. But a guru just self tamed. Excellent. A self tamed guru. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna set that to rescue. I think. And then we'll see who the best handler is. Auto is nice. So priority one auto is to train that guru. Yes, the Gohan. The Gohan is made. Who's the major breaker is claw? What's going on? Okay, we need to get rid of this and make a proper medical area. Oh, we still got uh, one, two, three unknown beds in here. I'll make this area here medical. Reinstall that bed there. Reinstall this bed there. Now let's build a few more beds in case we have some kind of mass casualty situation. This is all going to be medical right here. I'll wait for them to get up though before. I don't like interrupting their sleep like that. Is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If she survives the impact, she will be badly wounded. D is not affiliated with any faction. You can rescue her or she joins freely. Let's see. Well, let's take a look at the wounds here. Oh, death in 11 hours. Yeah, beep rescue. Uh, I think, yeah, there's a female human. Some swamp turtles up here. How are we doing on food? Okay, not bad. We need uh, a lot of leather though. Only 16 leathers. Oh no. Okay, Beep is uh, puking here. He can't go rescue Claw. Bin, how about you? No health conditions. Bin can rescue. These ones can go away. Deconstruct. Okay, let's reinstall this table. Right there. Oh, we got a wooden statue of a colonist here, and it's awful. Uh, let's install it. Yes. <laughs> Put it in the hospital, yeah. Who is this? Author is Otto. Okay, so it's a, it's a statue designed in the motif of a colonist. Onion. Um, the sculpture bears an illustration of an axe. Work seems to express victory. A chinchilla off to the side makes the viewer think of strength. Author, author is Otto here, except for... Um, it doesn't really... I don't have a villager named Onion. I guess just not a specific column, it's just a statue of a hybrid there. So this Gohan is not refrigerated. Spoils in 3.9 days. Uh, when they... Oh, D's, D's in bed here. 
well fed from Gohan. I was going to say that feed has well fed from Go Gohan here. A great multiplier is uh, minus 25%. I have eaten Gohan. Very delicious and filling. <laughs> Now what's going on with D? What kind of gear do you have here? Dog leather backpack and sheep wool Ashlander storm goggles. So nothing really that we want to steal. Okay, D was part of the hive mind at one point. <laughs> Rejoin the collective D. One of us, one of us, Google Gobble, Google Gobble. Oh, Fade is taming the Guru there. Nice. And now back to research. I could build one or two more research benches, I think. So with the research here, we're going to do drug production at a certain point. We're going to make the drug lab and then we're going to make hashish. We do want to get to long blades to get all these as well as plate armor. If I do great bows, I can then get crossbows here. The Kenshi weapon pack doesn't include the junk bow or the, or the eagle's cross or the other, or the ranger, or anything like that. So I just added a different, separate crossbows mod for it. Maybe we can make some brewing here. We can do some rum barrel, sake barrel. We're going to get stone cutting pretty soon as well to get this electric bread oven. We haven't got any of the wheat straw yet. Um, so it hasn't really been a concern. And then later on, if we get electricity, uh, we can research machining and then prosthetics I didn't really look into anything else from there like this is pretty advanced research up here for Hivers to have uh, in Kenshi they do have um, batteries and wind generation so at some point maybe we'll get that but it wasn't really uh, wasn't really on the list And this seems like, um, I may turn, turn up the difficulty a little bit as well, but we'll see from there. See if I do that. Because right now it seemed pretty, pretty easy. But at the same time, you know, it's chill. I didn't want to have like a stressful game. I wanted to show you guys the mod and all the mods. And I think that I'm going to form a group. I think I form a group of um, soldiers for a world quest. So from here, we can. I think we're gonna attack. Maybe not attack the Shek. Maybe we'll attack the Fogmen. We'll try to destroy this Fogmen clan. <laughs> but we need some weapons and armor, and maybe like five or six good soldiers, and a lot of food. So all the pemmican spoiled in one year. That's pretty much the only thing that's saving us without making the pemmican, uh, why is hot loaves on the floor here? Sleeping. Get me any more bids. I'm just gonna reinstall this one to flip it around because the rest of them are like this one I'm gonna settle set an owner to um who's that hot longs aside and then maybe some of these other beds right here disable medical so that way I have the ability to just turn them on to medical beds if I need to I, didn't, I thought that I had enough beds so reinstall this one right here correct direction this time I thought I had enough beds over here too how is everybody it looks like we need to build or move some more. Okay, how long has got a bed right there? Okay, this way we'll see how many of them. Fujin as well. <laughs> okay, so I need at least three more beds over there. Anybody else? I'm just gonna, 
gonna toggle everybody here. And we need an animal bed as well. Animal sleeping spot. I think an animal... Not enough stored. Not enough fabric stored. That's fine. Two over there and then just a, like a standard sleeping spot. On the wall there. Three of them. This, this location isn't really that great next to a door. So I'll optimize it a little bit. But unfortunately, that's all the time I have. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe for more videos.